Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So yeah, we're gonna be doing a cloud pour. I know, shocker. <laughs> and two of this little piggies um, are gonna be in this one. That is Constellation, which I really love Constellation. It's like the perfect mix of blue and purple. And then I'm also gonna be using Indigo Waves. Um, yeah, and I'm just kind of showing you in the cup. This is, gosh, what is this? A 16 inch round. And um, it is a canvas I'm reusing. I actually poured this piece, beef. I poured the same color palette like a week ago, but uh, I had Sapphire mixed up, this little piggy, but I don't know what happened, but I, I used a mix, uh, one of my sticks, stirring stick, that had like this oily residue. I have no idea what it came from. And I kept looking at my pigment going like, man, it looks like there's like an oil slick on it. Regardless, I went ahead and poured the piece. I loved the piece and it was on my Facebook page, but inevitably all these little blue cells just ruined the center. And although the piece would have been really gorgeous, I scraped it. I know some people I think were mad at me, but this is my second attempt. So, um, same color palette, but, uh, except I swapped out the, um, sapphire for the constellation so um so yeah so first in we're gonna be doing the constellation now it does look a little bit more pastel um in my mix and you've heard me say that in the past if you've watched any of my other videos um sometimes some of the pigments will have a little bit lighter color when mixed up but when dried Oh man, and this dried and it dried beautifully. And that constellation is just amazing. It's really, really beautiful. <clears throat> so next up, this is gonna be an ultra marine blue. Next up, I'm going in with my Vallejo Pearl Medium and Artist Loft Soft Body Cloud Mix. And man, I put a lot of cloud mix in, like, a lot <laughs> and I wanted to put a lot but after I saw my cup poured out like cup filled I was like okay I think I went like overboard kind of a lot but regardless um this is going to be cerulean blue here's the indigo waves Back to the um, ultramarine blue and then yeah as you can see I mean this is a 16 inch canvas I only really need eight ounces of paint but that cloud mix right there <laughs> should have been the end of the cup like it's gonna roll off I was like what am I doing I filled this whole cup up and that last color was the ultramarine blue so I don't know what I was thinking that I filled this whole cup up you didn't need all this paint you really don't Plus I put a little bit of flow extender down. So yeah, I, I kind of, I kind of went a little crazy. So, cause even pouring the cup out right here, the cup is just too full. It's just too full. So the cup poured out at the beginning a little, you know, faster. And the stream was a little thinner than I would have liked at the beginning. But at this point I was like, well, this is all, half of this is probably going to roll off the sides. So. <laughs> anyway, it does slow down and I'm going to get closer to the canvas. So uh, I'm going to let you guys watch me pour out the cup in real time. And I will be back in just a little bit.
Hey guys, I'm back. Thanks for hanging in with me. I know there isn't a whole lot to this piece. Um, I poured it out of the cup and, you know, I had too much paint in the cup. So I kind of lost some things that I really didn't want to lose, but I had to get rid of paint. So, and I, I literally, I mean, I, I could have kept spinning this and I could have tilted off even more paint and that would have caused those clouds to kind of pull apart a bit and we'd get a little bit more translucency a little bit more of that three-dimensional feel but I also liked what was going on with the other colors in this piece so like that swath of like uh, the ultramarine blue on the corner there corner around the edge I guess and then you know that area where the indigo waves and the cerulean blue is I really liked that I liked the movement of the clouds so I just was like you know what I knew it wasn't gonna crack I mean I hoped it wasn't gonna crack while drying but it didn't and it took like uh, like three full days to dry about and that's fairly standard so um yeah I mean this piece is pretty much done like I said I, I sped things up because there there wasn't a whole lot to this one I loved the pour out of the cup so it was really just kind of gritting my teeth and making sure enough paint was off so uh here we go I really love that ultramarine blue I believe that's the Lucas one I used and then there's the cerulean blue with the indigo waves it's a really beautiful color I'm glad I was able to keep a little bit of that um there you go right there there's some kind of just neat lacing that I got with the cerulean blue come on camera camera it's my phone I tape all these with my phone I really need to get a camera my husband's in the entertainment industry, so it's kind of shocking that I don't actually have one. Um, I really love this little area through here, and that was some of the stuff that I wish I could have kept. But, uh, you know, they can't all be perfect, perfect, perfect. I mean, I definitely, you know, should have known better than to fill my cup that full and to put that much cloud mix. I was like, what is wrong with you? Maybe I still have some residual COVID stuff. I don't know. The brain fog. But um, the clouds are definitely more opaque, as I said. But there is some translucency in there. And, and um, I still like how this one came out. Um, but yeah, the piece that I poured before this that I ended up scraping, I, I might have liked it a little bit better, but there was no way I was going to let it live with all those oily dots. So yeah, but you know what? I do really like the movement of this and that constellation in the center dried beautifully. So here comes a dried image, you guys, in just a second. But um, let me know what you think of this piece. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down below as well. And um, yeah, thanks so much for hanging out with me, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.